When using the Laravel PHP framework, we can easily create reusable pieces of code using what they call bundles. So I'm going to walk through this video and show you how to create a simple bundle that I'm going to be calling the Hello World Bundle, or I'll just call it Hello Bundle. So what I have on the screen is hellobundle.dev is pointing to a blank Laravel application. And inside of my code editor, I am at the root directory of my Laravel PHP application. So if you've been through creating applications with Laravel, this folder structure will look very familiar. But I'm going to go ahead and just get started. So the first step that we'll want to do is create a new directory inside of our bundles folder. And I'm just going to call this bundle hello bundle. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is create a new file. And I'm going to want to call this file routes.php. So if you're familiar with routes inside of Laravel, this will look very familiar. So what this is, it, the uh, parentheses and colon bundle is going to be the name of our bundle. And I'm going to go ahead and it'll be the name of our bundle and slash hello will be the URL that we're going to point to to run this route. And all this route is going to do is print out hello bundle. So if I save that, and we might think if we go into our application and type in hello bundle slash hello, that it is going to echo out hello bundle. But what we need to do is tell the application to auto load this bundle and how to handle it. So what we do is we go into the application folder and we go to the bundles.php file. And right here in the array at the bottom of the file, we're going to add the name of our bundle, which is hello bundle. And what we're going to want to do is tell the application to auto load this bundle. So we just set auto to true. And then we want to tell it how to handle this bundle. And we're going to say we want it to be handled whenever the user types in our URL and then goes to the hello bundle directory. So if I save that and refresh the page, you'll see we get hello bundle. Now if I go back in here and I say that I want the application to handle this bundle calling hello bundle123, and I save that, and if I refresh the page, it's not going to show that bundle because we told it to handle it at hello bundle123 slash hello. So if we do that, then in fact we get hello bundle. So I'm just going to change that back to handle hello bundle, and I'm going to go back to our routes.php file. And the next step that I'm going to want to do is show you how to possibly create controllers and views inside of your bundle. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new folder inside of our bundle and call this controllers. And I'm going to create a new folder and call this views. And instead of my views folder, I'm going to want to create a new file. And I will just save this as index.blade.php. And you can save it as index.php if you're not going to use the blade templating system. But I'm so used to typing index.blade.php that I just automatically type in .blade.php. Anyway, what we're going to want to do is just print something out to the screen. I'm just going to say hello bundle from our view, just so we can distinguish whether we are calling it directly from the route or from our view. So if we go back, we're just getting hello bundle on the screen. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to return a view. And what we need to do is we need to specify the bundle name and then follow that with two colons and we're going to and then we can call the uh, the index or the view however we want in this case we just saved it as index.blade.php inside of our views folder so in that case we would just say to render the index view so if i go ahead and save that and return back here we get hello bundle from our view so you can see we've just loaded the index view of our hello bundle and the next step that we may want to do is we may want to instead load a controller so we can add some functionality and then render the view. So I'm going to create a new file inside of here, and I'm just going to call this hello.php. So what we're going to want to do is create a new class, and we'll just type in 
class name, it needs to be preceded by the name of the bundle. So we need to type in hello bundle and the name of our class and then we need to type in controller and this is going to extend we'll just extend the controller class and we'll want to create a function and we'll call this action index and then what we're going to want to do is possibly just I mean we can echo something out to the screen here hello bundle from our controller and now what we'll want to do inside of our routes is just remove this function and we're going to want to call the hello bundle bundle and then call the class and then the action and the class was hello and the action was indexed so if we save that and refresh our page we're getting hello bundle from our controller however inside of our controller we may just want to return the view so we'll just return our index view and I'll save that make sure this is saved and now if I refresh the page we're getting hello bundle from our view so what our bundle is doing is just loading the route from the hello bundle it's telling it to get the hello class and the index action so it is coming into our controller and inside of our index function it is rendering the hello bundle index view which just prints out hello bundle from our view so that's it and that's how you create a simple bundle uh, some practices that you may want to do the Laravel documentation says that you want to add a start.php file to your bundle and this is basically for adding namespaces and possibly any any other code that you want to run while loading your hello bundle maybe you want to set up a few uh, static variables inside of the start.php whatever you want to add in there is perfectly fine but just for this case of creating a simple hello bundle we did not need to add the start.php so that is the very basics of how to create a Laravel bundle. I hope that helps out somebody else. Um, I know that I kind of just wanted to create this for myself uh, so that way I can go through any time I'm like, how is it that I create a bundle again? Then I could simply just refer to this video and get on my way with creating more advanced bundles that I can reuse for future projects using the Laravel framework. All right, well, I will talk to you all later and I hope you have a good one. So long. Ah! <laughs>